So today we are going to make a baby shower arrangement in a fresh pumpkin. Um, and so my client brought us this pretty green pumpkin um, and we are going to cut off its top. We're gonna tuck a container right down into the center and add some fresh floral foam and add some fresh flowers. When you come on, please tell us hello, how you're doing today, tell us where you're from. We love to know that. So we are live both here on Facebook and on YouTube. So on Facebook, if you do me a great big favor, give me a thumbs up or a heart if you can hear me. I need to know you can hear me. Um, and over on YouTube, if you'd like this video, that would help us out so tremendously. So what I have done is, this is just a little pot that came from the dollar store. Um, I actually picked them up off season when they were like probably half price or even 75% off. And um, I like to have them in the back as liners. They work beautifully as a liner. Um, they don't have the little holes in them, so they hold fresh water and they hold fresh floral foam really well. Now what I've done is I put it on top of my pumpkin and I marked where I need to cut this pumpkin. Now I'm gonna tell you the reason I am going to use a liner versus using the pumpkin as the container itself. I do not like pumpkin guts. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. And anytime um, I do a pumpkin, often if it has to be gutted, all the seeds taken out, um, Callie will do that for me. I just don't like it. I don't know what it is. It's just, uh, it's just kind of gross. And so I'm gonna take my floral knife and I am going to carve his little hat off. Um, and it's gonna take a bit with this little tiny floral knife because I didn't bring a serrated knife. Callie, do you know if we have a serrated knife in there? So we're gonna work this hat off. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a few seconds to get this hat off. Um, Linda Jester says, hey, finally catching at the beginning. Yay, Miss Linda, glad you're here. Um, Miss Anna Myers is watching from Des Moines, Iowa. Hello, Miss Anna, thank you for being here. Miss Rhea is watching, she says, hello, ladies. Hello, friend, glad you're here. And Miss Kathy Schling is saying hello from Ringgold, Georgia. Wow, hello, Kathy, thank y'all for being here. I'm so thankful y'all are here. If you will do me all a big favor, um, do please say a prayer for Miss Dawn Miller. Miss Dawn Miller is our precious follower. She's been following us probably since the very beginning. Miss Dawn is a, an animal lover, and she has some kitty cats that she's had for many years. And one of her kitty cats got out this morning. His name is Coco. And I'm not sure if Coco's a girl or a boy. Coco got out this morning. So please say a prayer that Coco comes home tonight or comes home this afternoon. Um, he's an in, It's an inside cat. And so it's just scary when your baby gets out and you don't know where your baby is. So y'all say a prayer for her um, because that just hurts your heart when your baby's not safe. You feel like your baby's not safe, right? So please say a prayer for Miss Dawn Miller. Miss um, Margaret Lynch says, Good evening, Monty and Miss Victoria. Ooh. Um, happy Thursday night. It's 10 p.m. over there. Waiting. Hello, Miss <laughs> Margaret. She says, Waiting for your beautiful arrangement. Interesting. I one. should have um, I should have cut this before, but I didn't. Uh, it's going to be not a very, we don't have a whole lot of flowers to put in it. So I thought, this is dangerous. <laughs> With this tiny little knife. Um, Miss Carol is sending prayers. Oh, Miss Anna. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Miss Anna says praying. She said I had a female dog named Coco. Oh, and Coco may be a girl. I'm not exactly sure. Don't know why I've never asked. Uh, Miss Linda says hello from Northwestern Pennsylvania. Tell her to put his litter pan outside, and he should come home. Oh. Thank you, thank you for that tip. I will tell her, I ha she'll be on in just a minute. You'll wa if you'll watch, you'll see her name come up on Facebook. Um, I'm sure she'll be here. But I never even thought, put his litter pan out. That's wonderful, thank you so much. 
You know, I've always, we've had cats, but I've never had one that was strictly indoors. And so they've always come and gone as they pleased. I was um, telling a story, I was telling Miss Dawn, I've only had one of my old cat, he's old, he's probably about 11. And he, um, he went missing twice, two different times. Both times he was in jail. He was at the Humane Society in jail. I had to go bail Norman out of jail. Um, the neighbor decided that he didn't like him. I don't know why. I don't know which neighbor. But the neighbor decided that they didn't like him, and they took him to the pound. They said that he was feral. Now, he was no more feral. When he was rubbing on his leg, he knew he wasn't feral. He just didn't like him. Uh, Miss Maureen on YouTube says, Hello from Australia. I have just woken up to your live. It's 8 a.m. Aw, so glad you're here, friend. Thank you for being here. So I only have this little tiny knife. So this may be more of a job than I ever thought it would be. They, um, they laughing at me. Be careful with them. I know, right? I'm going to wind up bleeding instead mm -hmm. of messing with pumpkin guts, right? <laughs> Miss Margaret says, OMG, mind your hand, Moni. Right? Miss <laughs> uh, Linda Jester says, prayers to you, Don Miller, and hope Coco comes back when my cat got out for a few days. Um, all of a sudden, he comes back and sits on my windowsill. They can usually find their way back. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Linda, because that is so reassuring. We might struggle with getting this lid. There, look there. <laughs> that dude is on there. Oh, Dawn Miller says, please pray that my Coco comes home to me. Miss Dawn, is Coco a kitty, I mean a boy or a girl? I don't know why it matters. It doesn't matter, but <laughs> I wasn't sure if Coco was a boy or a girl. Uh, Miss Mary Ann says, good afternoon, Monty and Victoria. Loved the YouTube design this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. There. This is getting it a little deeper. So I'm just going around. I don't have a handy-dandy serrated knife. I should have gone home before I did this video. But you know, sometimes you're just going to make things work. So I'm using these scissors to make this a little deeper. I do have my cut all the way around. And it's okay that it's not beautiful. I can even use some, this is a doozy. Um, Dawn says she's a girl. A girl. I wasn't sure if Coco was a girl or a boy. Um, Kathy Simpson says I'm late to the live. Are we doing this for fun or for a client? This is for a client and they actually brought me this big pumpkin. And so, I could have just put like a little design bowl on top. The problem is, is I don't have any of that sticky stuff to keep it on top. So I thought we would carve it. And you see I'm struggling because everybody needs to see the real life part of it, right? Mm -hmm. Miss Gloria says, I'm so happy that I caught you live. Yay, Miss Gloria, we're glad you're here. All right, let's see if that's going to help us. Come on, guy, come on off. Um, Trace Ball says, hi from the UK. I am still to do my pumpkin for an event at the end of the month. I am using the stock to place my foam on and doing it on the top. Yes, I think that'd be a great idea. Now, the only thing with this one is I didn't, she's going to take it with her. So I needed somehow, what in the heavens, why is this guy so hard? Um, she needed to be able to take it with her without him falling apart. It's gonna sit on her table. And so if I made it for me, I would make it on site where I didn't have to open him up or I'd have a better knife, right? Uh, Miss Debbie says, watching you from Illinois, this is a fun arrangement. Thank you, Miss Debbie. If I ever get the hat off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miss Mary Ann says, I've seen where a hand mixer was used to gather the guts to take out the pumpkin. Yes, I have seen that too, but mm, I don't like it. Here we go. Come on, dude. Why is this thing so difficult? Miss um, Kathy says, 
try cutting it at an angle. job guys I got another knife <laughs> uh, happy Thursday <laughs> I've decided that every time I go to design I drop something and this time I'm just gonna break my knife Rhea says I hate carving <laughs> <laughs> you laughing at me Victoria I'm sorry um Ms. Rio says, I hate carving pumpkins. I have fiberglass pumpkins with lights and no mess. Yes, I, I agree. Like, I'm the worst mom when it comes to this kind of stuff. Like, this is not my, my thing. Like, I don't like, I've never liked pumpkin guts. And so we've never really carved pumpkins. Now, I decorate, but I don't decorate for the children. They could care less. I decorate for me. Okay. I'm gonna get in it in a minute. Mm -hmm. I had no idea this was gonna be so hard. I should have started an hour ago. <laughs> Joan Arthur. <laughs> Are y'all so, laughing at me? Joan Arthur says this is painful at to pecking, watch. At pecking at this, <laughs> at this pumpkin. Goodness gracious, I may have to go dig in the drawer. I swear we've got a serrated knife. Keep talking, Victoria. Just okay. talk to her. <laughs> we've gotta have a better knife. Um, Miss Sharon says we're all laughing with you. I know, right? You're laughing at me. I know. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> no. No, it's just it she she broke. There will be a problem. She broke when she tried cutting it earlier. I don't know if you can see that. She it's unfocused on YouTube, but she how can I get this? She broke the the uh I'll show one. She broke that that blade off of there trying to get that trying to cut that pumpkin um teresa says love tuning in at the broken knife incident that was great <laughs> i was showing them that how you broke the knife <laughs> trying to cut that um trace this is the funniest i agree this is making me chuckle <laughs> Um, okay, I got a screwdriver. Miss Marianne asks if you have an ice cream scoop. I don't have an ice cream scoop. Not at the flower shop. I got a screwdriver. Let's see if that'll... Maybe I can't break a screwdriver. Um, Teresa says, love tuning in at the Broken Knife. Right, that right. Was great. The arrangements and pumpkins are beautiful. I promise. We're, this will work. I promise. I was gonna hope that we could keep its lid, but needless to say. Miss Sherry says I need to send you a good knot. <gasps> I have one at home, I promise. It's just at the flower shop. This guy has the thickest. Angie's Floral says, bless your heart, I use an ice cream scoop to clean the guts out. Oh yeah, I just get Callie to do it. <laughs> Kelly doesn't mind them. I'm um, gonna get it off, guys. I promise. <laughs> Miss Jane says, "Happy Friday." Is this a real or a fake pumpkin? It's real, Dad Gummit. <laughs> 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 I had no idea. I should have gotten one when I went to lunch. I just didn't think. Uh, Trace says, "Money zero pump pumpkin one." Right, y'all. This dude is big. I'm sorry that this is You're so laughing hard. at me, Victoria. No, it's just, I think I'm, I still can't get over how the knife broke. Right? Is what, I, is what I keep laughing at. Okay. Okay, so this is the biggest fiasco I've had so far on the video, besides <laughs> the lizard jumping out last week. I'm sorry, I know. Victoria's mom came by and I said, did you see the lizard last week? And she said, no. Was it real? I said, yep, I took a screenshot. I couldn't believe that the lizard was real. I was like, what? Of course I have to have a lizard. And if something comes out of this pumpkin, I will die. Winona Banks says, whack it hard, knock that down into the I pumpkin. I know, right? Um, Kathy says, well, the pumpkin is green. It means it was picked too early. <laughs> Miss 
Well, well, it's tough, y'all. It has no desire to open up. <laughs> Quit laughing, Victoria. I'm sorry. Y'all, I'm going to have the ugliest faces on this live. Well, if this doesn't cheer someone up, I don't know what would. <laughs> she said it really won't open at all. Y'all, it really won't open. I'm scared to catch that knife. <laughs> um, Miss Linda says, I think those pumpkins are harder to cut than the orange ones. Hmm. There's my knife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Go ahead. They're hard. Miss um, Linda says, we love watching you all night. LOL. Oh, my. It might be all night. We may make our arrangement and pretend like it's in a pumpkin. Miss Rhea says, this is oh, why we love watching you, Mommy. I'm getting, you I'm so getting to the guts. I felt some guts. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Judy Moore says, I love the way you're stabbing that pumpkin. I think right. it will help you get rid to get rid of your anxiety. Right. Anybody got any? I've got it for you. Well. Uh, Miss Jane says it is always tougher around the stem. I cut my thumb open one time doing that. Oh goodness. <laughs> Kathy says you're getting there, and Miss Teresa says mutilate that pumpkin. Okay. Oh, Miss Allen says I like that you're using a real pumpkin. Y'all, it's the guts are very. <sighs> pumpkin guts. They even Miss Kathy says, hope you don't ever get mad Aww. at Jason, LOL. Oh, I hate pumpkin guts. <laughs> no worries. You need would you like me to help? <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> like could this be any worse? <laughs> Yes, it could. So hush, Monty. Don't say that. <laughs> like, I have never in my whole life, y'all. Okay, I bet if I cut some of the guts. The guts are very gutty. I mean, like they're hung on. Um, Miss Bernice says, I opened a pumpkin every year for my students when I taught, and here is what I learned. Oh. I cut the lid off before class with a big knife and then carefully placed it back to show them. That way I saved myself from going through what you were going yeah. through. Yeah, I should have. But I thought, this is going to take just a little bit of time. This is going to be such a short little life. Because, here it comes. Ooh. I did it. Okay. Yeah. Guys, when doing this, Cut your pumpkin before you do a video. It won't look as silly. <laughs> <laughs> that was serious. Okay, now I got pumpkin guts everywhere. So, I'm gonna try to wipe the pumpkin guts off and I'm going to wash my hands because this is so gross. Gwen says you're doing a fantastic <sighs> job. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for cheering me on. Okay, I'm gonna go um, get a wet paper towel and wipe this down because I don't so give me two seconds. Oh my word, what a job. Oh, they're all cheering you on. Yay, <laughs> they did it. Y'all do that when you're not on a video. So if ever doing a video of a pumpkin, please cut him first because you'll be so glad you did. I don't love pumpkin guts, guys. I don't love them. <laughs> they're so gross. Okay. Sally says it was more fun with it live. <laughs> that is so gross, y'all. Pumpkin guts are so gross to me. I don't know why. Why can I do a lot of things, but pumpkin guts is one of the things that I, I mean, I can do it. I can do anything, but I don't like it. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> now, he's got a hole. That is the hardest hole I have ever dug. That was a hard one. Okay, so I'm gonna take and nestle my little container right down into my pumpkin. Miss Sheila Niven says, who needs a man, be? not us? We will get it. We will get it. Let's just dig this pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. That was so weird of me to do all of that pumpkin digging. Thanks. Oh, my word. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I took my fresh floral foam. I am going to fill my reservoir with water. Always remember to fill that reservoir with water. Oh, pumpkins. 
<laughs> Miss Susan says, nice work. Love watching you live. Oh, gosh, y'all. The things. The lizards and the pumpkins and the things. Okay, so I'm taking some tape. And I am taping down my floral foam. And I'm fixing to run in there, and I'm going to grab... I'm gonna wash my hands. And I am going to grab some moss because my hole is a little bigger than my container. So when I drop my container right down in there, it wants to rock back and forth just a little bit, just like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab some Spanish moss. Make sure my guts are off. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Spanish moss. Give me two seconds. And I'm gonna rinse some pumpkin guts off my hands. All right. I, I got my workout. I don't know how to go to the gym. <laughs> okay, let me get back to our comments. <laughs> um. Okay. Guys, thanks for watching and for cheering Monty on during this pumpkin dilemma. <laughs> bless it, bless it, bless <laughs> it. Okay, so I got me some water and I'm gonna fill my reservoir. It's so much easier to fill your reservoir before you put flowers in it. So I put, um, that's why you wear blue jeans, just wipe your hands off on them. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of Spanish moss and just kind of come around this edge and I'm really just kind of filling in. I cut that hole very carefully, I just delicately cut that hole in that pumpkin <laughs> a little larger than it needed to be. So, I'm just coming around with a little bit of that Spanish moss, and it's just, number one, it's helping me fill in that hole. Number two, it's giving us that, um, it's covering up that little green container. He wouldn't show much anyway, but just in case. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> That's the finished product. I'm just kidding. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to put him on my Lazy Susan. Uh, Miss Sheila says, I love that y'all are so real. <laughs> well, that was real right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This um, is the life in a flower shop. You should see some of our dilemmas with our lizards and our things. Miss Sally asks, where did you get the pumpkin? Um, I did not purchase this pumpkin. He was picked up by the client. Um, and I hate that I didn't save his little hat because it would have been really cute to add his hat. If ever you can delicately carve a pumpkin and take his hat off or the lid off, um, if you ever want to use it as a side piece, you can take some skewers and stick it in the top and kind of hook, him, ho hook its little hat on the side. Today, it did not fare well, but if ever you can, that's always a wonderful, a wonderful way to use the little um, lid of the pumpkin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white hydrangeas. I'm removing my foliage. I'm going to get a clean knife. I'm glad I have lots of handy dandy knives. <laughs> I'm going to take my stem, cut that stem at an angle, and I'm going to dip it in some quick dip. I'm gonna count to about seven. Quick dip is a hydrating solution that helps keep this little head hydrated. Um, Miss Dolly asks, would hot glue hold it in place? Hold um, like a a um, like a dish in place. It wouldn't. Hot glue is not gonna adhere to that pumpkin. Now they do have like um, some goo. I don't even know the name of it, but it's a, like a tacky, um, almost, I don't know, it's like a tacky kind of paste that you can put on the bottom, it's green, um, that would probably stick to it, um, and hold like the little tray onto the pumpkin, but I don't have any of that. I'll have to look up the real name. I have, honestly, I don't, I think I've used that once in my whole life. I've never had it here at the flower shop. Okay, so there's two little hydrangeas tucked in. Uh, Miss Bernice asks, will we 
watch you make something beautiful. She asked us if, if we were just if we would pray for what's going on in Israel. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for mentioning that. We certainly will. Miss um, Marianne asks, what is it going to be used for? This is going to be in the center of a table for a baby shower. They're going to have a um, shower for a baby girl. And it's funny, Mama is not very frilly, but the lady who is hosting the shower is frilly. And so she said of all the, ba all the showers, she's done lots of baby boys. This is her first baby girl shower. And this mama's not frilly. And so that kind of, I said, girl, we can be frilly. You're the one decorating. <laughs> so she kind of wanted it baby girl and pink and frilly. So I put my three um, white hydrangeas there. Next, I'm going to come in with some white delphinium. So delphinium, most of the time, when you see me use delphinium, I'm using a blue delphinium. Delphinium comes in several shades of blue. It comes in a purple and it comes in this pretty white. She wanted a little bit of height in this little pumpkin. So that's what we're going to use our delphinium for, just to give us a little fun height. Um, Laureen says, I missed the lizard video. I'll have to go back and look. It sounds fun. Well, I'll post a picture of that little lizard. Bless his heart. It was one of those days where the cat was on the table and <laughs> I was trying to pull the silks out of the container, and here comes a lizard jumping out of the container. I'm like, my word. <laughs> One cannot, I don't know what we would, what y'all would do without this wonderful um, entertainment that we provide. Okay, so there's our little delphinium. Yes, it's leaning to one side, but that was my intention. Next, we're going to come in. Uh, we're going to come around with a little bit of eucalyptus so that it'll... Um, it will kind of cascade around this pumpkin and then I'm going to add my pink flowers. So I'm going to take this seeded eucalyptus and I am going to come around this little pumpkin. Um, oh, where did it go? Kyle Fletcher says, hey everyone, how are you all? We have been on holiday to Cornwall. Well, we were thinking you'd run off and left us, Kyle Fletcher. We didn't know where you were, friend. I'm glad you're back. There's some seeded eucalyptus. The eucalyptus make everything pretty. And I love that that green's so pretty with that green pumpkin. Marlene Acker on YouTube asks, are you talking about cling it? Cling it, or that's cling what I'm talking about. I think that's right. Yes, don't you think that that would stick to a pumpkin? I was actually watching a video earlier of a lady who used that with like a, um, a plastic loamy dish and she stuck it. Hers was not a pumpkin. Hers was more of a, um, he was like a gourd because he was a funny shape. He wasn't like a pumpkin. Um, but he kind of, he kind of had a good, I don't know. He was very interesting. Um, but she put that cling on the bottom and then she just stuck it right on top and it worked perfect. She didn't have to cut into it at all. Oh. Which was a much prettier display than mine. <laughs> she didn't look quite as silly as I did. Okay, so look at how pretty that eucalyptus already makes that pumpkin. Like the eucalyptus makes this arrangement. Um, Kyle says, no, never. <laughs> he says, haha, I'm here. We are going away in November for 18 nights with no Wi-Fi. Wow. I'm so glad that you got to have a nice vacation. Okay, so there's our eucalyptus, and I love it. That makes me happy. Okay, let's come in with some pink lizzianthus. So I have some pretty pink lizzie. Are we going dark? Because I did so much on that fine cutting of that pumpkin. Okay, sorry. Are you back? Okay, so I just took my stem of lizzie, and I cut it kind of short, and we're going to come up here in the top with our lizzie. Now, lizzianthus has the sweetest buds. They're my favorite part of lizzianthus. I mean, the flowers are fantastic, but the buds are so sweet. Um, I'm trying to find. I saw, I missed some. Um, someone said that um, you cutting the pumpkin was a good lesson. Oh, uh, yeah. And um, <laughs> I think that was Miss Carol, and I think, was it Claire? 
perhaps. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But I think Claire said that um, she's going to be teaching. Te I can't find the comment, so I'm, I'm trying to do this from memory. Okay. But I think she said that she's going to be teaching using pumpkins at some point soon. And so that it was good to know to see you do this. it's not very <laughs> easy to cut. So They're not very easy to cut. Now, yeah. I will tell you that I have done like a, um, a little class where we had lots of ladies come in and they brought their own pumpkins. And we had them cut their pumpkins before they came. And if they wanted the pumpkin um, seeds out, they could go ahead and pull the pumpkin seeds out and all of that before they came. And it just saves a lot of time. So I put that little Lysianthus kind of on the opposite side of my um, white delphinium. And then we have these sweet little pink spray roses. Uh, Miss Jane says, but the sad show from designing a pumpkin was great. <laughs> oh, mercy, mercy, mercy. What would we do without a little bit of crazy? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be nearly as much fun, would it? Life wouldn't be as fun. <laughs> Is sweet. I think sweet they're little they're, spray roses. Mm -hmm. They're all saying they really enjoy. Uh, <laughs> they had fun. Watching. And you laughing at me over here, Victoria? <laughs> no. I tell you, if I had done that a year ago, I would have probably been mortified. Um, I might have been so embarrassed, and now I'm like, you guys know me. I mean, yeah. it's almost like we're family. Who cares? How fun is it that we can just laugh and keep on going? Mm -hmm. And you know that this is real life. I remember when we first started this, I really, really felt like it was important to do impressive things. Um, you know, I thought that when you saw floral design that you would want to see things that were very impressive. The thing is, is that at our flower shop, we're not really very impressive. I mean, this is not a big, impressive shop. I don't do lots of big, fancy, fancy things. We just don't. I mean, we can, we could, we possibly, you know, we just don't have those kind of orders. And so, for, for quite a while, I thought that all of the videos that I did for you, I really had to plan and I had to try to do things that might be impressive. And you know what I've learned is you just really want to see everyday things. You want to see what really goes on in a flower shop. You are happy with my everyday things. And I realized that I don't have to impress. I just want to teach you and talk to you about what we do here. And and I enjoy the fact that we can all laugh and this is real life, you know, because it's so much easier to be me than it is to try to be impressive. And this is me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is our real life. This is what we really do every day. And this is the kind of mess we get ourselves into, don't we, Victoria? <laughs> So I'm so thankful that we can do that together. And thanks for laughing. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> um, Teresa says, laughter and flowers are medicine for the soul. Yes, yes. And Miss Debbie says, love the color combination with that pumpkin. So it's just a soft little sweet arrangement of some sweet little um, spray roses, lisianthus, white hydrangeas, and delphinium. So it's just a sweet little centerpiece. Um, she didn't want to spend very much, so it's not real big and elaborate, but it is so sweet and so pretty and very simple. Now, I almost wonder, she came and picked up a wreath that had some sweet ribbon. Do you think we should tuck up just a little hint of maybe some little baby girl ribbon? We'll see. If she doesn't like it, we'll pull it out. She's picking it up tomorrow. Oh, Miss Sheila, thank you. I agree, Miss Kay. It is very, very pretty. And I like that it's a green pumpkin, so it's more of a more of a neutral. I guess for a baby shower, it's it complements it very well, those those baby girl colors. Um Miss Melanie, such a pretty centerpiece for a shower. I agree. It is pretty. Uh, Miss Cheryl says, your everyday things are wonderful and we are just real people. We are just real people. You know, that's the thing is that that's exactly right. <laughs> we are just real people. I've had people call and say, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I said, girl, 
I'm normal. <laughs> don't be, don't be um, in awe of me. I'm just a normal person, please. <laughs> but it's so nice to talk to people who are so excited about floral design and all the things. I, I'm just normal. I'm just a normal, everyday person. Um, on YouTube, Melanie Gomez says, much better to watch inspirational videos from relatable people, not designers that are so full of themselves. Well, I um, certainly try not to be. You know, that's something that I've prayed so hard. Lord, I'm just working for you. I just am doing what you've called me to do. And I'm to love on people. And, and if this is what my platform is and how I can teach and, and love flowers and love the the design aspect of it. I'm so thankful to be here and so thankful for this opportunity. And to work really hard to get that pumpkin lid off. <laughs> like my arms are tired. Uh -huh. <laughs> so um, silly. Okay, so I just made kind of a little three-looped bow because we don't have lots of flowers. I thought maybe this sweet little bow Aww, that is tucked cute. in makes it look a little more like a baby girl. Um, earlier, Rhea Norman said that um, her husband came in and was asking why she was laughing. What in the world is going on over <laughs> there, right? <laughs> oh, I'm just glad a lizard didn't jump out. What a blessing. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've got one. I think it's probably, it's going to be on her table um, as a food table. Like she's going to use her dining table as a food table. So I wonder, will there be food all the way around? I'm just going to put like a couple little tails over here on the back side. I'm really not going to put a big bow. So I'm just going to take this ribbon and I'm just going to kind of gather it. Uh, Miss Linda Jester says, so very beautiful and you are all very impressive and down to earth. Love it too. Thank you, friend. Thank you. I'm so glad y'all are here. Uh, Miss Dawn says, very pretty. Did you add water to the pumpkin? Miss Dawn, I used, I'll pull it out for you. I used just a little green, um, it's a green pot, like a, um, like a terracotta pot, except it's a plastic green pot. And so when I cut the, I just made some little tails for the backside. So when I cut the lid off the pumpkin, I just tucked that little container right down into the pumpkin and um, filled it with water and taped in my so I just tucked some tails on the back side just to add some little tails and then there's the front side missed on this is what it looks like it's probably got some pumpkin guts but it's just a little green container that just slips down into that pumpkin it does have water in it and I wrapped that container with a little bit of Spanish moss so that you couldn't see it all right, there is our sweet little pumpkin arrangement that took a little bit of elbow grease to get it <laughs> to do right. The flowers that we used in this container include white hydrangeas. I used three stems of white hydrangeas. It has um, white delphinium, and I used three stems of white delphinium. It has pink lisianthus, and I believe that's four stems of pink lizzie. But the wonderful part about lizzie is it has lots of little buds, so it looks like a whole lot more than four stems. And then I used um, three stems of little pink spray roses, and then to finish it off, I used some seeded eucalyptus, a little bit of Spanish moss, and our pretty pink ribbon for this baby shower. Mm -hmm. I think it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. um, Raleen Brown says, glad to see you live. I had total right knee replacement. Oh, gracious. And I'm just trying to get through the pain and therapy. Hope you will say a prayer for me for healing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, we sure will. Tell me her name one more time. Um, Raleen Brown. Raleen, yes, ma'am, I sure will. Lift you in prayer and I'll put you on my prayer list at home. Um, I try to, every time someone asks for prayer, I try to write it down so that I can go back and pray. Um, it makes it so much easier to retain um, if I can write those names down. So I certainly will. Yes, ma'am. We will pray for your healing and, and pray that you can get through this pain. I'm so sorry that you're hurting. Um, Susan says, I know you had trouble with this one, but it is so pretty and sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Rhea says, thank you for a wonderful video. So glad you're here, Miss Rhea. Linda Jester asks, what would be the charge for this? So this is a $55 arrangement. Of course, she provided the pumpkin. 
Um, and so I just provided the, and that little container was a dollar from the dollar store. So I just provided, um, it was less than a half a block of fresh floral foam. It was that container and then the flowers. Um, so it's a $55 arrangement. Um, Chris Fry says, I made a pumpkin the other day with my flowers and put ornamental kale in. It uh, turned out so cool. So guess what? I've got kale coming next week. So I look forward to using it. I love kale. I think that kale's so much fun. And so I have some coming next week. Um, Donna called and said, what are you looking for? I said, just send me something fun. And she said, we've got kale. I said, send it. So I'm excited. We also have coming next week um, painted thistle. And it's painted a pretty maroon color. So I'm excited for the thistle too, just because that's something that's so different. And then fall colored snapdragons. We don't use those very often. So I'm looking forward to those. You didn't know. <laughs> Victoria's gone, ooh. <laughs> All right, they're saying it's pretty. Guys, thank y'all for being here. Thank you for a good laugh. I'm sorry that I, sometimes that things don't always turn out the way you think they might. And so thank you for being here and enjoying the laugh and the lizards and the cats and all the creatures and all the things. <laughs> I hope that you have a wonderful evening. If you would do me a great big favor and sprinkle this video, I would certainly appreciate it. Guys, if you have not over on Facebook, if you have not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do that. We put up videos, gosh, three to four times a week. And so we would love to have you join us over on YouTube. We actually just posted a brand new video today. Owen posted it. So we'd love to have you over there. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. If you have any questions about how we do things here at this flower shop, don't hesitate to ask. And if there is something that I can pray for you for, shoot me a message. I'm so happy to pray for you guys. You all have a wonderful evening. We'll see you real soon. Thank you.